Welcome to the Video Photography video course of the Video Teach project. During this course, you will be familiarized with the process of adjusting and enhancing the colors and visual elements of your video recording. Video photography is the process of adjusting and enhancing the colors and visual elements, such as video graphics, of a video recording to achieve a desired aesthetics. It involves manipulating visual aspects such as white balance, brightness and contrast, saturation and hue. In post-production video photography is performed using video editing software such as Canva, Adobe Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, or similar. Some of these tools are simple and easier to use, others are more complex, offer greater control over the visual material, and require more professional skills. More information about the available software options you can find in Unit 4.1 Computer Software Options, part of the video course of the Video Teach project. Different light sources emit light with different color temperature, which can make colors appear warmer, orange or yellow, or cooler, blue, than they actually are. White balance adjustment is used for more accurate color representation in videos by neutralizing any color cast caused by specific light conditions. Correct white balance results in more natural looking and visually appealing videos, it can contribute to more pleasant viewing experience. Color temperature. White balance is measured in Kelvin and is based on the color temperature of light. Lower Kelvin values mean warmer, more yellow, orange light, while higher Kelvin values mean cooler, more blue light. Neutralizing color cast. White balance adjusts the colors in a video so that objects that appear white in reality become white also in the final video production. Presets and custom settings. Many cameras and video editing software offer preset white balance settings such as daylight, tungsten, fluorescent, cloudy, and others. On the other hand, custom white balance settings allow you to manually adjust the white balance taking into account the specific lighting conditions of the scene. Post-processing. The videographer can fine-tune the white balance after the video has been captured in post-production using video editing software such as Canva, Adobe Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, or similar. An inexperienced videographer will keep his camera on the auto settings of the exposure value, while a well-prepared filmmaker will adjust the exposure value of his camera to optimal settings before recording. However, varying lighting conditions during filming or exposure errors made while recording can be compensated by adjusting the exposure levels of a video in post-production, resulting in a balanced and visually more pleasant film. In post-production exposure corrections can be done with the help of video editing software such as Canva, Adobe Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, or similar. Some of the more popular techniques for exposure correction include Exposure compensation, which adjusts exposure settings such as exposure value to make the video brighter or darker. Brightness and contrast adjustment. This means to increase or decrease the brightness and contrast of the video. Highlights and shadows adjustment. When you play with the highlights and shadows of the video recording, you can bring out details hidden in overexposed or underexposed shots of the video. Color grading in video is when you attempt to manipulate, enhance or alter the colors and the entire visual appearance of your video recording in order to achieve a specific mood, personalized style, or certain atmosphere. Color grading enables you to use your artistic abilities and create a particular look by manually adjusting the saturation, contrast, and hue of the colors of your film. As a result, you can create a more aesthetic and compelling video narration. It seems complex, but in fact in post-production color grading can be done easily with the help of video editing software such as Canva, Adobe Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, or similar. Some of the most popular adjustments and techniques used in color grading include color balance. In order to achieve your desired color temperature, you can play with the adjustment of the balance of primary colors, these are red, green, blue. Saturation. In order to create a more vibrant or the opposite, more muted look, you can play with the intensity of the colors. Selective color correction. It is also possible to alter specific colors or areas of your video in order to achieve more specific, personalized color adjustment. Preset color grading filters are tools with pre-designed color adjustments which allow you to instantly get a desired visual style or mood. Some of them offer mimicking the look and feel of old-fashioned analog films or cinematic styles, evoking a certain era or aesthetics. Most of the smartphone built-in cameras have preset color grading filters, which are simple, intuitive, and easy to use. 
Alternatively, in post-production, you can choose from the preset tools of any of the video editing software. Discrepancy of the colors, tone, and style of different shots is a very common occurrence, especially if you used more than one camera, or if you shot different scenes in differing lighting conditions. Matching shots in video means that you have to ensure visual consistency and flawless, uninterrupted continuity in color, tone, and style between all the shots within your video. In order to maintain uniformity in exposure, depth of field, and colors across shots, you should keep the camera settings consistent throughout the entire video recording process. In post-production, you can correct any color discrepancies between the shots by applying consistent color grading and correction across all shots. This means choosing an overall tone, style, and mood of the video and making sure to adjust color temperature, contrast and saturation to match across the entire video recording. Video graphics are intricate visual elements you can add to your video, such as titles, text boxes, special effects, animations, transitions, among others. They can have decorative function, as they can enhance the overall viewing experience. Or, they can be used to convey additional information, especially in educational or explanatory video recordings. You can add video graphics to your footage using one of the different variants of the graphics toolbox found in most of the video editing software options. Alternatively, you can create your own video graphics using specialized software like Adobe After Effects, Blender, and others. Well-designed video graphics play a very important role in storytelling, complementing the video recording with personalized authorial interventions. Fine-tuning the color correction of your video means that to create an engaging and visually pleasing viewing experience for your audience, you should make careful adjustments to certain colors or areas of the separate frames, or the entire video. You should try and address any issues, enhance specific elements, blend any video graphics with the dominant style of the video, and make sure that you have produced a smooth and seamless flow of frames. Remember that it all starts with the video recording. If your footage has serious light and color problems, it is possible that even the most advanced post-production work might not fix them. You can add video graphics to your footage using one of the graphics toolboxes found in most of the video editing software options. Alternatively, you can create your video graphics using specialized software like Adobe After Effects, Blender, and others. Well-designed video graphics play an important role in storytelling, complementing the video recording with personalized authorial interventions. When producing video content you have to keep in mind that there are many different devices that can be used for viewing your work. One of the most important qualities of a video recording is its compatibility with different screens since you aim to make your work as accessible as possible to a wide range of viewers. Ensuring consistency and compatibility means that during post-production you should test the appearance of your video on different screens, monitors, and various operational systems, and make further adjustments when you notice that certain colors do not appear accurate. Video photography is a process of creating the visual side of storytelling. Its quality plays a crucial role in the way a video is perceived. If you can produce a truly captivating visual experience, you can be certain that the message of your recording will be better understood, the lesson you are teaching would be learned, and you as an original creator will be remembered. You should take your time to experiment with different techniques and tools in order to develop your style, what is called your personal and unique visual signature. Thank you very much for watching this learning video. If you like it, you can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the Project Video Teach at videoteach.eu. All the content of this project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.